Okay, so the uh, the new grill absolutely rocks. I gotta say, I'm very happy with the amount of space on this sucker. It makes cooking a lot easier and a, a lot less uh, tedious having to actually stand over the meat and keep flipping it around. So this uh, this grill is awesome. But I got a a piece of vacío and I got some beef ribs and some pork ribs on here but uh, I'm not making this video to talk about that I got a question from somebody on one of my videos uh, asking about job prospects here in Paraguay and I thought I'd do a little video talking about um, finding work here basically and opportunities to find work here first of all I'll say I've been living here for almost eight years and I've been working full-time for four years okay uh, the first four years I was here my wife was working and I had my own business basically agricultural business and also uh, lived off investments that that I had made prior to moving here so um, I've been working for four years and I will say that there are good job opportunities here. There's very good opportunities. It all depends on what you bring to the table. So first off, if you're coming here and I would say the worst situation you could possibly be in is if you don't have a good grasp of Spanish and you don't have a degree. Um, if you're coming here in that situation and you don't have money to, to start your own business, then you're going to have a hard time because basically what you could do in that situation, if, you, if you're young, you don't have a degree, you wanted to come here for a year or something and you had some money saved up, you could find a job, you know, teaching English, maybe you could teach English as an independent. I hear that the going rate right now is 90000 an hour for a native English speaker to teach English privately, private tutor. And 90000 that translates to about uh, 18 bucks, maybe an hour. So it's pretty good. Or you could work for uh, an English language school. As a native speaker, they'll usually pay you between fifty and 60000 an hour. So that's about 10 11 12 bucks somewhere in there that would be the worst case scenario uh, for someone coming here uh, the best case scenario would be if you come here and you've got a degree and you've got some experience uh, the better experience you have oh and also and, and if you've got a grasp of Spanish um, you know you can find some pretty sweet gigs here if you're an experienced person, uh, there are international companies here, there are local companies here that will snap you up um, if you've got the right qualifications. And especially if you're a techie or an engineer or something like this, you find some pretty good opportunities here. And the, uh, what I would recommend to anyone who's coming here in that situation, if you've got a degree and you're coming to work as opposed to, you know, buy land and or start a business or something like that. There's a company here called Manpower, and they are basically, uh, I guess, headhunters, what you would call them, a headhunter company. And they uh, are awesome. Uh, the company that I work for them, uh, that I work for, we have used them um, to hire people on and basically uh, from our end you know you give them pre-select and a pre pre they do the pre-selection basically of candidates for your job so you tell them what minimum qualifications you want a person to have and they do the screening and then they send only qualified candidates to you know, to the to the people they're actually going to hire and so manpower is awesome I mean if you've got a good resume you could Google them. I'm not sure what their website exactly is. I think it's like manpower.py, something like that. But if you got a good resume, you go ahead and submit it to them. And a lot of people use their service. I don't say a lot of people. I'll say a, 
a lot of good companies use their service because they eliminate, they save so much time in interviewing because they do all the pre-interviews, so they send only fully qualified candidates to the, the end company that's going to do the hiring. But uh, in summation, I guess I would say that, you know, if you have uh, a degree in something technical, you know, um, and better yet, if you've got a good degree and experience, or if you've got a degree in, uh, I don't know, uh, you know, biology or uh, mathematics, something like this, you could find work teaching in, in a school here. Uh, there are private schools here that will hire you and that will pay a, a good salary. Um, you know, English language speakers uh, to teach, you know, in the, in the subject that they have a degree in. So that's another opportunity that exists. But other than that, oh, and another thing I have to say, if you're going to work, you want to work here in, in Paraguay, you, legally you're not going to get hired until you have your permanent residency here and what's called your cedula, your, your Paraguayan ID card. Um, you might find work with some foreign firm and they will hire you without it um, and help you you know submit the paperwork to get that get to get the documentation done but in order to comply with the law and in order for them to be able to which is more important for the company to be able to uh, deduct your salary off their you know off their income statement um, you know you need to be in the system so you need to be legal but uh, but other than that I'll, I'll wrap up this video and say that's that's basically a rough outline of you know what it's like to find work here